In this tutorial, we will take a look at using styles on your photos. Styles are a great way to quickly apply a predefined look, but also be able to add your own adjustments, especially if there's variations in exposure and white balance. Uh, for these images, I'm going to use some of our latitude styles. So let's take a look. So let's start with this photo from John Shell. All the styles can be found in the Adjustments tool tab in the Styles and Presets tool. To preview a style on the image, simply hover over the name of the style, like so. To apply the style to the image, just click once, and you'll see it shown up the top here. Now to remove the style, just click once more. Moving down the list of styles, Capture One will quickly show you a preview, which makes it very easy to choose the one that works best for the image. So I'm gonna go for the last one, Malibu Surf Rider Beach. Once again, click once and the style is applied. All the styles from Capture One, including the latitude styles, don't make changes to exposure and white balance. This means it's then very easy to tune the style to work for the photo. So let's go back to the exposure tool tab. And for this photo, I'll just brighten it a little and click auto on my levels, just to bring in the shadow and highlight points. Now his face is kind of side lit with the sun, so let's open up the shadows more, just so we get a bit more detail. And also I'll increase the highlight slider just to get a bit more detail back in the sky and the side of his face. To finish the photo, I'll just add a small vignette with the vignette slider. And we're done. So let's look at before any adjustments and then after. Now let's have a look at this photo from Brian Muneer. For this one, let's take a look at some of the styles in the Latitude Infinite Peak series. Once again, if we hover over the style, we get an instant preview in Capture One's viewer. And I think I'll choose the smoky style. Now this photo is a little bit too dark, so once again I'll go back to my Exposure Tool tab and brighten slightly with the Exposure slider and also lift the mid-tones with the Brightness slider. Finally, I like the warmth of the sun hitting the buildings, so I'll increase the Saturation slider so we can enhance that effect as well. Once again, here's the image before any styles and adjustments added and after. Don't forget for even more flexibility, styles can be added as a new layer. Simply hover over the style as before, but this time right click and choose apply to new layer. If you look in your layers tool, you can see a new field layer has been created with the name of the style, but the great thing is you can vary the opacity just to moderate the impact of the style. And of course, you can add your own adjustments as you did before. You can see that styles give you a great starting point, but you still have plenty of flexibility to edit the photo too. Don't forget to check out the Capture One store to look at all the various style packs on offer.